Welcome back to another video review, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Tech Gooch, and I'm doing a review actually for some camera lenses for the iPhones. Uh, in this case, the uh, for sure the iPhone 6, 6S, 6S Plus, and 6 Plus um, by Vix, Vix Singh, uh, it, V I C, and then capital T S I N G. Uh, it's their photo lens systems for the iPhones, and this little box that it comes in, and then they give you a little carrying case that you can take it with you, so you can just throw it in your camera bag or in your bag or whichever, uh, even in your pocket. Uh, in this case, they sent over, uh, first it does come with a little microfiber cleaning cloth to take fingerprints off. They sent over on this one a couple uh, holders. These actually clip and hold the lens onto the, the phone itself, so if you break one, you have a spare. Uh, and then in my case, they gave me a macro lens, uh, as well as a fish eye lens. Um, the macro lens is really neat if you want to take some photos of like, I mean really close up photos of like uh, a flower or things like that. Um, I can show you, like uh, I can do my carpet, you can actually see the fibers of the carpet, it's kind of crazy. Uh, so that's the, the macro lens, probably a lens that I'm not going to use as much as I would the fish eye lens. Fish eye is pretty cool because you can get a much wider view. Um, you know, if you're trying to take, like for instance, I was at the Chicago Auto Show few weeks ago and I would actually uh, I didn't bring it uh, and uh, actually I had it at that time because I was doing test reviews on it and I forgot it and I really wish I would have brought it so uh, then I would have had some really cool photos from it that said my stupidity aside I'm gonna go ahead and get zoomed in here and show you how it goes on and then we're gonna actually show you how it actually works cool awesome all right, so nothing special here. I'm just gonna grab one of these. Throw the other one here so I don't lose it. I'm gonna just go ahead and put the fish eye on. In this case, I have the fish eye lens, took the cover off, and you don't have to take the cover off to be honest. Maybe keep the cover on so you don't get your fingerprint all over it. And she just snaps into uh, the holder. Now the holder allows you to slide. You can see that real quick. Slide so when you, wherever this is gonna hit the phone to hold onto it best, you can adjust it. Now the iPhone 6 series, let me use the microfiber cloth as well, clean off this lens, because you're gonna wanna make sure this lens is clean, as well as the inside here if you, if you notice anything. That lens is sticking out, obviously, from the phone, which will actually go directly inside this. So if I actually put it on here, if you can see this, let me, it sits right over the actual camera itself and kinda holds onto it a little bit. I'm gonna hold that on there and then you take the clip and you just slide the clip so it holds onto the phone. And now we have an attached lens. Of course, in this case, pull the uh, protector off now. So we're not gonna worry about hitting that. And then you can adjust a little bit. You can actually see on this one, you can actually see the camera lens in there, see how well it lines up. If you notice it not in the center, you can adjust that right there just by grabbing onto it. And in this case now, if I go into, oh, I was on eBay for instance, or on Amazon, sorry. Uh, now I have a much wider fuel field of view. I can get really close to my hand and I have my whole hand in the picture. Uh, obviously you're gonna wanna look, you know, you're gonna get that rounded fisheye look to things now because of that. So you can see like the, the table, even though it's not a square table, it's a round table, it's more round in the camera view here because it's a fisheye lens. Uh, same thing was like this box here. So you can get some really cool uh, photos with this. Um, we're gonna go out back and I'm gonna get a little better video of, of me using this. But obviously a lot more field of view, a lot more field of view than you would without the fisheye lens. Uh, same thing goes, let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Uh, let's, I'm just gonna put the cover back on here so I don't get stuff all over it and just pull it off of the my uh, phone. And now we're gonna use Super Macro. Now this one I can't demo as well because there's not a whole lot of stuff to demo. But same exact principle, just I'm gonna snap into the guy here so it's ready to roll. Put it over the, uh, the uh, camera lens here and then snap it on. Remove the protector. Uh, if you notice it, it's going to be harder for it to notice how well it's on there, but just uh, center the best you can on the lens. And then, uh, so this one, it, first time I was like, whoa, it's really, it's, it's not focusing at all. That's because it's got to be really freaking close. 
So you can see here, essentially I'm literally placing the plastic cup, say on this lens there's a plastic cup, I'm literally placing that plastic cup on the actual table and now I can zoom in and actually, I mean you can see, look at that scratch. It's on my table, let me zoom in a little bit so I can get a better. Yeah, let's. So this is literally me pu pushing it on the table. Let me get it in the camera view. So now I can see, wow man, I'm getting individual things, but I can, uh, there's a nick in my table there. Some crazy stuff going on here. I don't know how well you're seeing it, but let me take a photo of it. So, turn the camera back off, pull the lens off, put my protective cover back on. I'm going to zoom back out because you guys are going, what in the heck is he doing? So, just putting the protective lens back on here. Of course, it's a little harder because of that plastic shield around it. So, we're good there. And let me uh, get into my photos here. Now, I had... Oh, jeez. You can see where... Oh, jeez. I mean, I had a nice scratch on my table there. Now, I, my naked eye can barely see that. I mean, it's it's not very big scratch. It's a, it's a hairline scratch. And of course, that macro lens is able to pick it up. Now, you can obviously see the kind of photos you would get then when using it with, like, flowers. Uh, that would be really cool. Get, like, the pollen and everything like you would be, like, a bee. Uh, definitely neat artistic. It's probably something I will use. I just won't use as much as the fish eye. So let me go... Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take go out take two photos and uh, show you the difference between them. That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went out and I took these photos at the same distance from my backyard. And uh, now HDR is still going to work because we are not adjusting anything on the phone. You can use any app possible with these. So it's, we're actually adjusting it before it even reaches the camera. So everything's going to work as normal. So there's my first guy. And now you can see how much wider it is. So, I mean, I, I can see the back quarter of one shed. Now I can see both sheds. On the other side, I can see the corner of a garage back here. I can see the entire garage and even the corner of the house now. So there's uh, a lot of stuff that you're going to be able to pick up with this lens that you won't actually get. Now here's the HDR shot with that fisheye lens. So now you're still getting picking up the, the sky and everything. And uh, picking up a lot of good stuff there. So that is the fisheye lens from Vixing. Um, pretty sweet works really really well uh, I like the lens protectors that they, they give you as well um, as always I mean I wish there was a there was almost a better way to do it other than the only other way I've seen done would be like having a case that you put on here that the these screw into the case that would be the only thing that I would like better probably than this however I don't like using those cases typically because the cases aren't very good cases so in my uh, in my view, actually, this is going to work really, really well for me because I can just take something really nice and small. I do like the fact that they give you a nice, small, protective case to put everything into. And uh, they do offer other lenses as well. In this case, the fisheye and the uh, macro lens. Pretty sweet. And, uh, yeah, obviously, even with the macro, I didn't need a whole lot of light because I don't have a whole lot of light in this room right now. Uh, just the ambient light from the windows and a couple lamps I got on. So nothing really advanced there. And then they do also give you a user manual. First, time, Like I said, the first time I tried that macro lens, I was like, whoa, what's going on here? Uh, and it says mainly for shooting very subtle objects such as flowers or insects. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that is the uh, photo lens system from uh, Vixing. A couple other really quick things I didn't show you here. Um, first, they do give you a little microfiber cleaning cloth to clean that up. But... On the macro lens, uh, they actually have two different sections. I actually didn't show you this. Um, it's set up right here with the plastic guard as a 24 times macro lens, but you also have the uh, option to use, just use the standard 12 times, and it actually just unscrews. So just grab onto it here, and now you have the 12 times macro lens. So you don't have to go quite as close uh, as this guy does. So if you don't need to go up that close, you just unscrew it. Otherwise, for storage purposes, keep together so you don't lose it um, along with the cap here and then it goes back in the thing here. So that's the uh, 
technically three different lenses they actually give you for three different options of how to use it. So that's that. So that's the, the photo lens system from Vixing. If you have any other questions, comments, please post those below. Subscribe to the channel above. Uh, I want to thank the guys over at Vixing to sending these over. I appreciate it. Uh, I really did. I've used them. I wish I had used them more, but uh, I did forget them in my one big trip I had. Um, however, pretty awesome. So uh, another thing that I would definitely look at would probably be a, a telephoto lens because that's another thing that you can't really do with the iPhone at all. Very limited. Um, so uh, that might be one thing that I'm going to look into getting eventually is one of these in a telephoto. So that said, appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. Let everybody know what's going on. appreciate all of you guys helping support the channel. And uh, check us over on Facebook, uh, Tech Gooch there. If you head over to Twitter, Tech Gooch there. And if you head over to our website, thetechgooch.com, appreciate it. So then again, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.